Previously, I made a video of this Minea U Inverter Window Air Conditioner Unit. It is super quiet. I like it so much, I told all my friends to buy it. Even myself, I just bought another one. The 10,000 BTU unit that I got is big enough and strong enough to power and cool down the whole first floor, which is about um, maybe a thousand square feet. The air conditioner has its own app so that you can control it remotely. Personally, I hate using it because I don't want to go through the cloud and definitely don't want to use another app just to control this one device. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to control it via Home Assistant, the one hub that's going to rule them all. Unfortunately, to get it onto your Wi-Fi network, first you have to install the Medea Air Conditioner app. Once you're done getting it onto your Wi-Fi network, you don't have to worry about that part anymore. So go ahead and install this app. It's called Medea Air. Click on Install. Once you're done, open it. Click on Agree. You really don't have an option. If you have an account already, go ahead and sign in. I already have my account, so I'm just going to sign in. As you can see, I have one already in the basement. So right now, we're just going to click on Add Device. Click on OK. Allow it to have your location. Click on Window AC. Go ahead and plug it in if you haven't already. On the unit, on the left-hand side, there's the Connect button. Go ahead and press and hold it down. Click on Next when you see the word AP on the unit itself. Now, on your phone, jump onto a different Wi-Fi network. We're going to search for this net underscore AC Wi-Fi network. The password is 12345678. You are now connected to the access point of the window AC unit. Most likely your number would be different, but it will start out with net underscore AC. Now you need to configure it to jump onto your own Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and choose the SSID of your Wi-Fi network and the password of that network. Now it's going to try to connect your Windows AC unit to your own Wi-Fi network. Most likely this thing is 2.4 gigahertz. And right now I'm using the EOR network, which is mostly 5 gigahertz. So if your AC unit does not connect to your Wi-Fi network, be sure to disable the 5 gigahertz. This is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to the EOR app, click on settings, troubleshooting. My device won't connect. My device is 2.4 gigahertz only. And then click on temporary pause 5 gigahertz. It'll pause your 5 gigahertz for 10 minutes, which is plenty of time for this thing to jump onto your 2.4 gigahertz. Give it a name. I have mine in a dining room. And now we're back to the home screen of that app. If you click on dining room or whatever name that you chose for it, now you have full control using that app. Go ahead and power it on if you want. There's all of the modes right here. There's cool, dehumidifier, fan only, and auto. But we don't care too much for this app. We're going to just quit it right now. Here comes the fun part. We're going to integrate this into Home Assistant with this add-on, Medea underscore AC underscore LAN. So go ahead and open up your Home Assistant. I'm using a desktop, by the way. Go over to your HACS and paste it in. Hopefully it has it. Medea AC LAN. Click on download and then download again. Now go ahead and restart your Home Assistant. For me personally, I like to go over to the terminal and then type in HA Core Restart. After your HA has restarted it, go ahead and go to Settings, Integrations, and Add Integrations. Now search for it, Medea AC LAN. You can choose by auto or you can choose by IP. Click on Submit. If you know the IP address, it's even faster. But for most people, choosing by auto is perfectly fine. Click on Submit. Click on Submit again. Here, you can rename it whatever you want. And then go all the way down to Submit. There's no need to edit anything else. Click on Submit when you're ready. If for whatever reason there's an error, go ahead and click Submit again. You can click on Finish if you want or select the error that it will be installed. All right, now you've successfully added in to Home Assistant. From the list of integration, go ahead and find Medea AC LAN. Click on it. If you click on the icon, you'll be able to control it. 
in operation you have all of these modes obviously we don't have heating because this thing is not heat now you can control your AC unit any way you want just as if you're using the official Medea app or if you're controlling it manually by pressing the buttons obviously this is cool and all but what you really want is fully automated of course go ahead and auto turn on the AC when it gets too hot automatically turn on the AC when you're about to arrive at your house say maybe 30 minutes before you arrive at the house start cooling the house if nobody is at home and if for whatever reason you forgot to turn the AC when you leave the house go ahead and turn off the AC off automatically there's so much automation that you can set up and it's just bewildering to cover in this video I'm curious how you set up your automations to work automatically with Home Assistant feel free to drop that in the comment section I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching